How's it going? It's Nick from Beardineers here and I can't tell you how excited I am about this one. This is Whale Sharks from Verdans. And it's a double IPA coming in at 8.2% brewed with Citra on the hot side and same on the cold side. So I'm coming into this having seen a review of this already. Uh, I think it was last week. So I think it's, it's a relatively new release, but about a couple of weeks it's been out, something like that. Um, but uh, Rowie, a craft beer basic, beat me to it. And he said it was like an oniony monster. So what I'm hoping is that it's going to be a dank, fried garlic, savoury hit. Because I bloody love those. I absolutely love them. And on the grain bill, it's brewed with barley, wheat and oats. Uh, canned in July, end of July, and it's okay until the first week of August. Well, it's, sorry, sorry, first week of June, uh, of, can't speak, January 2025. Shark week, whatever that means. Verdon, I'll tell you what, I don't think I've ever had, had a bad beer from them. And they are, sorry for regular views, I keep banging on about it. They've done my favourite ever double IPA. Fruit Car Site Exhibition. And they they are used to have that fried garlicky, savoury dank. I haven't had one for a while that had that. Um, let's see what this does, shall we? So. Oh, it's pretty lively. We are into what I would call porridge. Well, my beard and his partner coined the phrase porridge. Yeah, um, that is pretty thick. Other beers I've had over the weekend have claimed to be thick, but that's what I call thick. Look at that. No light getting through that. A couple of things of white head. Is there any good any nose coming through that? Unlikely, but we can try. No, I mean, I can get some. I'm getting earthy dank, so hopefully my uh, expectations will be realised. Maybe a little bit of citrus under there as well, which wouldn't surprise me. The only way we're going to find out is to go in, so chin chin. Okay, so it's really nice. I'm getting citrus and tropical. So I'm getting bits of grapefruit at the end. At the front, I'm getting mango. Nice bitterness at the end. I'm not getting any dank. So it's great beer, but I'm not getting... The oniony fried garlicky dank that I thought I was going to get. Oh, what a shame. I say shame, it's bloody great, but it just wasn't the sort of beer I was expecting. Oh, it's quite complex, so the sweetness is bang on, really well balanced by the bitterness. Medium bodied. You've got a bit of sort of orangey citrus. A little, it's not, it's not like a sickly mango, just very sort of subtle mango, pineapple, that sort of thing. And then it goes to quite a, a punchy sort of bitterness at the end. Yeah. So. That's really what I would expect from a Citra Galaxy uh, double IPA. It's, but like I say, none of the, there is no fried garlic savoury note to that. Okay. Never mind. 
still bloody good. I'm still going to give it eight and a half out of ten. Yeah. So Verdant have smashed it. Just not quite in the way that I expected, but it's my fault for watching reviews ahead. I should have come into this with having no preconceptions. But Whale Sharks, it's bloody amazing. Um, you might still be able to get hold of it at the time of viewing. Um, I'm recording this on the f end of uh, August. Yeah, so you might be able to pick it up. Do so. You won't be disappointed. Just don't expect to start if you're watching the reviews. Don't ex Well, I don't know. You tell me. Comment in the box if you've had this and you are getting savoury garlic and fried garlic and savoury and that sort of thing. But I'm personally not. Bye, hey-ho. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.